Hello Maths fans, uh, going to look at compound interest on the GDC, the Graphical Display Calculator, uh, today. So without further ado, let's introduce you to the Graphical Display Calculator. Now compound interest is in this financial app here. So scroll down to the financial app and open that one up and you'll be given this menu here. And the one we're going to look at today is this F2 compound interest. So if I want to do that, I can click on F2 here for compound interest. There we go. Now you'll get this, uh, all of these options that you need to fill in the details. So let's go through what all of these things mean. NI percentage, PV, PMT, FV. So the first one there, N, that is the number of compounding periods. So uh, if we were dealing with monthly compounding for two years, for example, that would mean we would have 24 compounding periods because you'd have uh, 12 times two, okay? Uh, I is the interest rate. Uh, so whatever your interest rate is, you pop that in there. Then PV is the present value. So your kind of original value. Uh, PMT is the uh, payment for each time period. So you can uh, do some questions where you are paying back a set amount. Uh, so this is the payment. Uh, FV is the future value of the investment. And then PY is payments per year. And CY is compounding periods per year. And you can see here I've got it at 12 for payments. Um, payments per year and compounding periods per year. Let's have a look at a question, see if we can uh, make a bit more sense of all of this stuff. So I've got a, a scenario here where Sally's invested $15,000 in an account. It pays 4.2% PA per annum compounded monthly. Now the interest rate is always per annum, always per year in this. So I'm going to put that 4.25 in here. And then it says, uh, let's just clear that one out there. So we've invested 15,000. So that is the uh, present value. The present value is going to be 15,000. However, she's got rid of that. So we put that in as minus 15,000. Because at the moment, she, is, she doesn't have that 15000 She's minus that money from her, from her pocket and put it in the bank. So minus 15000 is what she starts with. Uh, and then we're doing monthly compounding. So just make sure we've got that uh, payments per year and compounding periods at 12. And we want to know how much her investment is worth after five years. Well, five years times 12 months is 60 compounding uh, periods. So for N, we're going to have 60. So let's go up to our N, put in the value 60. And what we are trying to work out is how much is her work investment worth now? So that is the future value. We're going to calculate the future value. So I'm going to click on this one here, FV, and that is F5. So if I click that one, it tells me FV equals 18,544.53. That is how much her investment is now worth, 18,544.53. And I believe it's dollars. Uh, and so there's an example of how you can use this. You basically just put in as much information as you can and then click on whichever thing you need to calculate. So if I want to calculate N, I press F1. If I'm calculating interest, press F2. If I'm count calculating a uh, present value or an in initial investment, type in the PV, F3. If I want to know how much the payment should be, F4. And there we go, F FV was F5. Um, when you're answering these questions in... Uh, an exam style situation, really important that you write down everything you've typed in the calculator. Okay, uh, 
otherwise you could be missing out on a lot of marks. Let's have a look at an, another example. Uh, oh, actually, a couple of little things to highlight. So the initial investment, as you saw, it was given as a negative value. When I'm giving that money into the bank, it's it's not in my pocket anymore. So I am down by 15, or Sally was down by 15,000. The future value is positive because you get it back from the bank at the end of your investment. Uh, so that is positive. Uh, and just highlighting there, N is the compounding periods, not the number of years. And lastly, I, we just write it as the percentage interest rate per annum. You don't have to change it to a decimal like 0 0.0425. We just put in the percentage rate. So if it's 25%, you put in 25. Okay, here's another example then. So we've got Helena is investing money in a term deposit paying 5.2% per annum compounded quarterly. So bit few, lots of information there. Let's just clear all this up and fill in the bits that we want to fill in. Uh, so my payments per year or my compounding periods per year, if it's quarterly, that means there are four payment periods per year. And you can see it automatically updates the compounding periods there. What else have we got? 5.2% as the interest, 5.2. Um, she's gonna collect $5,000 at the end. So that is the future value is going to be positive 5,000. And we've got uh, three years of quarterly payments. Well, three years times four, that is 12 compounding periods. So N equals 12. And we want to know how much does she deposit now? What is my kind of present value? So let's work that one out. I think we've put everything else in. So present value is what we're calculating here. And you can see there I need to, or Helena needs to invest $4,282 and 10 cents rounded to two decimal places. Uh, that's how much she would invest in order to collect $5,000 at the end of three years. Okay, let's have a look at one last example. Um, maybe you can uh, pause the video here and have a go at this one yourselves. Uh, see what you can enter, see which bits you can get, and then I'll give you the answer. So pause it now, and on we go. Here is your answer. So uh, deposits 5,000. So that is my uh, PV minus 5,000. And we want the future value as 6,000 positive. Uh, we want to know the interest rate if it's 2.5 years uh, compounded monthly. So my payments per year is 12. And I want to know the interest. That's the bit I'm going to calculate. My uh, number of compounding periods will 2.5 years times 12 months a year. Well, two years is 24 plus half a year is another six. I think that must be 30. So N equals 30. And we are calculating I. So let's click on that. F2. And there we go. There's my percentage per year rate. 7.32%. Okay. Hope that's made some sense. Have a play. Have a go at some questions. Uh, and that is compound interest on the GDC.